everyone, Zalma here, once again with another gold farming guide. So today we'll be showing you guys the awesome spot to not only farm transmog gear, but also make quite a bit of gold doing it. Now, the cool thing about this spot is you can run this uh, multiple times, you can do 10 runs in one hour, and uh, it also has a chance to drop the glorious transmog pieces. And if you don't know what those pieces are, basically like the legs uh, can sell for up to 300,000 gold. And the other glorious pieces also sell for a really high price. And on Illidan, the server I play on, they sell pretty uh, pretty quick. So it's actually a pretty good uh, you know, place to farm. Uh, the glorious pieces are very rare. But I have gotten quite a few doing this spot. And another cool thing is, even if you don't want to farm this spot for gold, you just want to farm it for yourself, uh, the new transmog feature coming in Legion, this is a really cool place to come if you're, you know, sitting in your garrison board or something, you want to pick up uh, a couple pieces of cool transmog for your um, collection. So basically, uh, this is AQ20. This is the 20-man uh, version, not the 40-man version. As you can see, you basically come to uh, Silithus, and it's located right down here. Silithus is the zone over here. Alliance can come here as well. And it's the portal on the left. Not the portal on the right, but the portal on the left. And also, a uh, couple key things you're going to need for this is the add-on called Loot Appraiser. As you can see right here, you can download this off of Curse and you're going to need Trade Skill Master. And basically how this add-on works, if you've never heard of it before, it looks at the price of the Trade Skill Master, basically the price of the item on your server or globally, and whenever an item drops or you loot an item and it goes over your threshold, my threshold's 500 gold, it'll pop up here uh, pop up up here and tell you how much the item's worth and it'll total how much gold you've made so far. Now Transmog does take a while to sell. Uh, I don't highly recommend farming Transmog all the time, you know, maybe get a couple pieces, wait for them to sell and come do it again. Uh, it's because it does take a while to, you know, actually sell, but here we go. So this is how you do it. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to kill zero bosses. If you kill one boss, you can't reset the trash. So you gotta make sure you do not kill any bosses whatsoever. And I am doing this as a mage. Uh, the best class to do this as is like an AoE class, you know, because there uh, is a lot of adds and you're going to need to kill them um, as quickly as possible to do this efficiently. And there's also a glitch in here where it takes a while to mount up on your mount. I'm not sure what that's about, but it still hasn't been fixed. So basically what you're going to do, you're just going to go around, you know, killing everything. And these mobs right here really don't drop too much. I have gotten quite a few, uh, you know, some decent transmog pieces off these guys. But these guys aren't the uh, breadwinners right here. But I kill them anyways just because, you know, you never know. So basically, uh, you're going to kill these guys. And once you clear this room right here, you're going to make your way down this way. Might as well kill these guys right here. And as you can see up here, so far we've made 253 gold um, worth of transmog if it actually does sell. Now usually anything that sells for under, I'd say, 500 gold on the auction house really isn't going to sell that quick. Um, you know, some of the e basically the lower the price, usually the easier it is to get. Now I'm not saying it won't sell, I'm just saying you know there's a chance that it will not. Like this piece right here uh, sells for like 47 gold minimum buyout, so the chance of someone actually wanting that piece is probably pretty low. So uh, you gotta keep that in mind as well. And what you're gonna do here is you're going to kill these guys up here and once these guys are dead you're going to make your way around this corner right here 
and there is a pack over there. You can skip these guys if you do wish and you want to make the run faster. It's really up to you. And that guy just teleported into a wall, okay. Then you're going to jump down here. Now there is a boss right there. Remember, do not kill the boss. And I do like to kill these slimes right here. They have a really high drop chance for the oozling bag. And I have got a pet from these guys. So you got to keep that in mind. The pet sells for around, eh, around 5,000 to 9,000 gold if you do get one. Now this area right here is where the transmog really comes into play. These little uh, friendly ads right here, these little feeders, have the highest drop chance for the glorious pieces and the higher end transmog. So you're going to make sure to kill every single feeder there is to maximize your profit in this instance. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to kill these guys. See if we can get anything good. And got to make sure to go into the right hand side right here. There's a whole bunch of these little guys in this little area. Let's kill all these feeders. Now, you can do this on a melee class. I've done it on my rogue before. Um, but I usually go for a range class because in the room that's coming up ahead, you'll see why uh, it wouldn't really be too viable to have to run to every single mob like I'm doing right now. <clears throat> and again, guys, this is all RNG. Uh, doing this, you're not going to be able to get, you know, get guaranteed transmog every time. Now I have done a run where I've made uh, a total item value of over a hundred thousand gold in one run. Like that was really lucky, but it did happen. Um, not all of it sold on the auction house, but you get what I mean. Okay, kill the rest of these feeders here. As you can see, this run so far has been pretty, uh, pretty not profitable. Kill the rest of these guys. As you can see, this is the room I was talking about where you're really going to want to be a range class because these ads are extremely spread out. Now, a key thing right here, do not get too close to this boss. If you get within this little area right here, the boss will actually uh, spawn on you. And unless you're a mage or a hunter or a rogue, you know, advantage or something like that, you cannot de-aggro him. And if you kill him, the ads not, are, the trash is not going to reset when you reset the raid. So you got to keep that in mind. Do not get too close to that boss or you're going to be really screwed over unless you're, you know, a class that can uh, drop all aggro. Okay, so we're going to kill the rest of these feeders right here. This is why I was saying it's good to have a ranged class do this. Okay, the feeders are all dead. Now these uh, green and blue items that I'm picking up, uh, such as this, the Crystal Scarab and the Jasper Idol, uh, it says like, oh, this one sells for 20 gold, oh, this one sells for 2 gold. It doesn't sell at all. Don't even bother putting that on the AH. Um, just delete it. Now don't delete them after every run. If you're going to do like, you know, 10 runs in a row, uh, just keep them in your bag. Uh, so you don't have to keep deleting them every single time, you know. Uh, but eventually you'll just delete them. They don't sell for any gold at all. And you cannot sell them to the vendor. So it kind of sucks. Yeah, that's just how it is. Okay, so once you get down to all the feeders, you're going to come down here to these uh, beetles down here. Now I have gotten quite a few pieces off these beetles as well. But the feeders just have the highest chance. So you gotta make sure to kill all those. Now these scarabs, uh, if you don't kill them right away, they will uh, knock you back like infinitely. And it's really annoying. And oh my god! As you see right there, I just got a glorious piece. Uh, the item value on this piece is almost around 5,000 gold. So that is really awesome that I actually got a glorious piece during this video. So uh, that is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, I mean, right there. This is the this is the live run. This is the first run I've done this first video, and as you can see, I already got a glorious piece. Now it wasn't the legs or anything, but 
the glorious pieces do sell quite well, uh, at least on my server, and I know they probably do, probably do on other servers as well, because gl the glorious transmog is one of the most sought-after transmog sets in the game. And especially if the new transmog feature come up, coming up, you could save that until that feature comes out, and it's going to sell pretty damn fast. So it's really up to you what you want to do with that. But uh, that's pretty surprising that I actually got one. <laughs> okay, so then what I usually do is I take this first little bridge over here. Um, now run up this way. And I come back around. But the run's almost over. And uh, you just got to make sure to kill all these little ads in this little area right here as well. As you can see, they do drop transmog, so... <laughs> You gotta make sure to kill them all. Now basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna run back around this way. And once you get you run this enough times, like you could be watching Netflix so you don't even have to think about what you're doing. You just gotta remember just don't kill any of the bosses. Um that's a big thing, because you kill a boss and you're screwed over for the entire week. So if you're planning on doing multiple runs, you just gotta keep that in mind. Okay, so we're going to kill this last pack up here of beetles. Now you can run off and kill these guys as well. I usually do, but for the sake of this video, I'm not actually going to do that. Okay, and that's pretty much the run. Now I'm going to show you how to get back to the start and reset the instance, and that'll be it. Now there's quite a few different sets that drop out of here. Glorious is just the best set. Uh, there's also the cloth set, I can't remember the name, and you know there's a, a couple other pieces as well that have pretty high looted item value. Now, personally, I don't really like farming transmog to make gold. Like, I have so much gold that it really doesn't matter, I really don't farm too much anyways anymore. But uh, the problem with transmog is it does take a while to sell. Now, once the new feature in Legion comes out where, you know, Every piece that you have bound to you will be added to your transmog tab, your collection or whatever. Kind of like the heirloom tab but for transmog. Uh, the transmog prices are going to skyrocket. Not forever, but for quite a bit. And once that happens, transmog is going to be highly profitable and I suggest selling it all then. But for now, it's a hit or miss. You know, Sometimes it'll sell, sometimes it won't. I mean, you really can't depend on it. Now, you go on Twitch sometimes, you see people, you know, doing 24-hour gold farm videos, and they're like, oh, up eight, you know, million gold, blah, blah, blah. They're talking about the looted item value. They're not talking about how much gold they've actually made. Like, if you look up here, it says I've made 5,288 gold from this run. The chances of me actually making that much money from the auction house selling this stuff is slim to none. Now, the glorious piece will definitely sell, so... You know, maybe I did make that much, but usually you just got to keep that in mind um, whenever you're doing these transmog farms. Okay, so basically, after you're done with the run, what you're going to do is you're going to right-click your portrait and click Reset All Instances. Then when you run back inside, all the trash will be reset, ready for you to go. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Very good place to do transmog runs. This is where I do my transmog runs whenever I actually do them. I have made at least uh, 50 or 60,000 gold from doing this spot on my mage. So anyways guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.